Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. How are you doing today? We are fine, teacher. <laughs> Just reaching. Just? Just reaching. Reaching? Mm -hmm. Like what? To the class. <laughs> oh, just come into the class? Uh-huh. Okay, yes, I know, me too. So mm -hmm. we're going to wait like two minutes, no, one minute, and we're going to start right away with the first attendance. So I'm going to yes. thank you for being punctual. So thank you, Ruth, Jessica, Brenda, Diana, Ronald, and Merlin. Thank you for being punctual. Merlin, if you can change your name, please, like the full name. Because I need your two names and your two last names. Teacher, uh, when I can change my name, I don't. Or you I know, don't. you don't know where? No, I not. So it. I don't know. I will advise you to do it before you come to the class. In your profile, you can change your name. There in your profile, you have an option. Like if you go to account, account settings, you will find the option to change your name. But here I can change it. You tell me, tell me your second name. Lisbeth. With S or Z? Uh, T H. No, Lisbeth is with S, Liz, or with Z? No, S. Okay, and the la second last name? Ventura, Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Cruz. Okay, look at that. Is, is that correct? Yes. Okay, very good. So guys, um, remember, you can change it before you come to the class. Sometimes that's better. Okay, I wanna, I wanna say this better. So let me go with the attendance and then we start real quick. Oh, I wanna thank you also for making like working on the week one. That was really helpful. And to the ones that haven't, please work on that. Let's go. Uh, yes, we're here. I don't know guys, but today I feel like it's Friday. I know it's not Friday, but I feel like it's Friday. It's weird. I wish it was Friday. Okay, let's go. Uh, Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. Yeah. Uh, Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Salas. Vamos a ponerle mute ahí a la porque se escucha todo el ruido, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok. Um, Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Cres Crespedes. Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. Juan José Ábalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. I'm here. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm here. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rol Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. I'm here. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Suleima Lisette Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. William Antonio Morales Mancía. Nope. Um, Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Excellent. Y Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Okay, good job. Thank you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for being punctual. I will encourage you to try to be on time every day, like at 8 p.m. 
because then we need to go through the attendance. And remember here in this class, attendance is always about saying I'm here, but also it's about the minute, the minutes you are connected in the class. So at the end of the class, we count every student with every minute they participated in the class. So if you're not here on time, that means, for example, they have here yesterday, we have two, so you have to have 120 minutes every class. So Ana Beatriz got that yesterday, Ana Elizabeth, Brenda, Diana, Flor, all of them got the one, 120. The only person who didn't was Katia because she connect, she, she logged in later. So yeah, remember that is about the time you are in the class. Not only, for example, Merlin on Monday, Merlin on Monday, you connected a little bit late, right, Merlin? Yes. Yes, you have 111, yes. but it's still okay. So you see guys, we see all the minutes that you are connected. Here in Zoom, we have a report that we can do actually it tells us what how many minutes you have been connected so that is very important okay the other point that i wanted to talk about is homeworks on schoology oh yeah, schoology it's not schoology never mind it's simply something other platform okay so the homeworks on the platform the platform we have the homeworks there i saw some people that didn't complete all the homeworks so you got you have to have 100 so for example some people have 86 80 the thing is that you can do the exercise again and again and again until you have 100 i will advise you to try to do it until you have 100 because as with the attendance the grades on the platform are equally important okay so try to make them until you have a hundred because I saw the grades and some people have so like 86 and stuff like that. But I see here, okay, the people that have a 100 is Brenda has 100, Diana, Flor, Jennifer, Juan Jose, Ruth Sarai. Yeah, they have a hundred. The other ones, you have a good grades like 96, 98, 80, that is a good grade. But I will recommend to you that if you can do it again until you have 100, that will be perfect, okay? It's better that way. So at the end, Insafor will be like, yeah, they are doing good, it's okay to continue. Because remember, this is a scholarship. You know what is a scholarship? Nope. Yes, yes. What is a yes. scholarship? Uh, Mary, can you tell? Yeah, Diana, yeah, that's okay, that's okay. So that a scholarship is like a beca, right? So you're here sponsored. You're not here paying, right? You don't pay or do you pay? No. And take advantage of that because learning English, it's very expensive, very expensive. I didn't pay for my education. My dad did, thankfully, but it was expensive, that I know. Okay, guys, so try, please, please, please try to take advantage and not to lose your scholarship because it's very important. And right now, like I have half my class with the cameras off. I don't know what's going on today. That is another part of the scholarship. We need to have the cameras on, so. I wanna see everyone with the camera on, unless you have like a really, really good explanation why you have your camera off, then you have to turn them on. Okay, so let's get to eat, guys. Not to eat, to eat, right? <laughs> did you eat already? Did you have dinner already? Yeah? Yes, yeah. I did. Or do you have dinner until 10 p.m. in the night? At night. No, it's no, very, late. Night. Classes. very late. Yeah, no, it's super late. Okay, so this is the topic we have for today. So Excuse this me, I is... have a doubt. Yeah. In Antaria from 
I want to see to see. Oh, I don't remember where it is number uh, fifteen. The um, homework number fifteen. Yes, instruction answer the following question. Use your answer, give positive or negative answer. Um, there are um, five questions, but uh, in um, short answer, uh, give me one. Um, long answer, two. I don't know how is, is it that, Taria. Uh, Oh, homework. Give me mis mistake. Okay, so that it will be in section three, right? Um, the homework yes, is in yes. section three. You say number fifteen. Yes. Let's see number fifteen. For example, number one was I late? Mm -hmm. Um, and answer the following question, uh, but it's wrong that I write. What is wrong? Number one or, num or number two? All. All of them? No. Yes. Okay, let's I don't try. Know why. Let's try to do it. So the first one says, was I late, right? Obviously yes. the question is in the simple past. Was mm -hmm. I late? So the first, it will be like, was I late? I answered to myself. I can answer like, yes, you were, or yes, you weren't, right? But in this case, I'm talking about myself, and maybe let's say I answered the question myself. So that will be, oh my God, give me, 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 give me time. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's do it here. So, was I late? If we answer affirmative, that will be like, what? Can you tell me guys? Affirmative. Yes, I was. Yes, comma, I was. Period. Period. Then were you in school yesterday? <laughs> Try to think that they are asking this to you. So were you in school yesterday? Yes. I were. I were? I was. I was. I was because the past of the verb be for I is was. Let's try to do it this way. Let me, let me. Okay. Let's try to see if these two are correct. Okay. Yes, they are correct. Right, Juan Jose? Oh, Juan Jose, your microphone is off. Yes, I I watch what is what is my problem. Oh, you were okay. answering differently. No, because in some time that comma the comma or the point. Oh, the <laughs> comma and the oh yeah punctuation. Yes. Only, only. Yeah, okay. That the punctuation is the key. And let's see, guys. If you do this negative, I think it will be correct as well. Let's try. <clears throat> okay. Oh no, it's not correct. Why no. is it incorrect? Or was because I I was said, not? No. 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 Yes. No. no. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, guys. You see? Okay. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> okay, let's try like this way. No, it wasn't. Maybe. Yes, it's correct. You see. Yes. So if, okay. if you answer affirmative or negative, both are gonna be correct, right? Okay. Thank you. Excellent. No, thank you for telling me that I have a, I had a mistake there, right? <laughs> okay, guys. So let's go to this. But just give me just give me a second, please. Please give me a second. <clears throat> Okay, let's read this. Can you help me to read the topic, please? How can you help me reading the topic? Kerry? Video conference, number six. Video conference, uh, number six. 
how to use simple presents for scheduled activities. Thank you very much. That was really good. Jennifer, can you help me with the date? Yes. Wednesday, May 9th, 2021. Can you say this again? 29th. No, this 29th. Night, 19th. 19th. Sorry. Remember, 19th. 19th. Okay, so Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. Thank you very much. It's May, right? Uh, let's get to the first activity, you guys. And this is a question we are going to answer. This is the first activity we have. Can you help me, Ruth, to read the, the question? The first one until here. So this part. Ruth Sarai or Ruth yeah. Noemi. Yeah, but I think you're the only one in the class because I think Ruth Noemi doesn't come to classes. Okay. Uh, that is, uh, what is a regular day at your workplace like? Thank you very and much. And how busy are you? And how busy? Busy. Busy. Okay. This word is pronounced busy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ruth. So the first one, as she was saying, is what is a regular, regular, regular? What is a regular day at your workplace like? And the second one is how busy are you? So I want you to think about this question for you in your case. So what is a regular day at your job? So for example, in the morning I do this and that and this and that. Or I always work in reports from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. I check emails, uh, I mean from a.m. I check emails at 11 a.m. Then at 12 I go and have lunch. At 1 p.m., I have a meeting with the suppliers. I don't know, this is just an example. At 2 p.m., I, I work in the in inventory, like I work in everything that we have, like the stock. So we work in the stock. At 3 p.m., we program the activities for the next, or we schedule the activities for the next day. So something like that. I want you to think about the times in the activities that you do. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. And then we go with the second question. How busy are you? And you can say, oh, I'm really busy on Mondays and Tuesdays. Wednesdays are not that busy and the easiest day is Friday, for example. Then you can say, oh, I'm really busy, but the days that I'm really really busy are by the end of the month so I have people that have worked in accountant and they say that the end of the month is the days that are they are really really busy right because they have to to give all the reports about the money okay so how busy are you don't just answer like yes I'm busy I'm really busy I'm not busy. Don't answer just like that. Explain, for example, what days are the busiest to you or what days are like more <laughs> like chill. They are like just chill and you are working as well, but they are not just so busy, right? So do you understand the activity we're gonna do? Yes. Is that clear for you guys? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. excellent. So let's do just a little example and super quick right here. So Miguel Angel, can you ask the first question to one of your classmates? You choose the classmate, it's okay. Okay. What is a regular day at your work at place you workplace like? Workplace. Work, workplace like. To whom? Choose a person. Um, I choose Juan Jose. Okay. <clears throat> um, repeat again. What is your regular day at workplace like? Yeah. Mm, my case, uh, all day are very, very busy. <laughs> yeah, from from Monday to, to Saturday. Um, for example, on the Monday, I, I teach from 
6 and half until 8 p.m. Uh, from 8 to 12 a.m. Um, I am with um, email, answer email, um, answer to uh, many, many students uh, when they ask about um, academic situation. And um, uh, sometimes uh, we are, we, because all the, all, all my team uh, in training, because um, in this moment, uh, the teach I for um, um, a linear or for uh, online, online, online in this moment, or online, and it's very, very uh, necessary to training about many skills that the Zoom or Microsoft Team or Hydro, I, I use Hydro or GeoGebra, for example, or many, many digital st still that we are used. The digital and, platforms, right? Yes, and we are very, very busy. Uh, in this moment, we are preparing um, <clears throat> the uh, all, all organization the next um, semester uh -huh. um, in the year. Uh, it's very busy because you have to um, uh, to find the many the, the, the most better the, the better uh, teacher the best uh, teacher the best the best teacher um, for uh, each um, course, course that we are that we are in teaching. Give. Uh, did you see your yes, okay. okay, so that's a, like um, a typical Monday for you, Juan Jose. Mm, changing some time, changing some time, but in this moment, uh, because I uh, finished uh, one uh, one semester uh, and preparing the next, uh, is um, um, some uh, is is uh, very busy in this moment, but. Uh, in, for example, in, in my case, uh, Tuesday, uh, I, I am which I, I am on team uh, in meeting meeting with others uh, principal. Uh, we are six principal uh, for the six. Um, I don't know faculties. <laughs> I don't know how to say faculty. I think it's faculty. Okay. okay, that was a good example. Thank you very much, Juan Jose. Thank you, uh, Miguel, also for the question. But guys, remember right now, we are going to talk about schedules. So what I need you to do is to talk about the times, what you when you do the activity, and then mention what you do. For example, in my case, I will be like, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., I teach a class. From 10 a.m. to 12, I work in my house, right? I work in different things in my house because I work from my house. And then from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., I teach another class with Inglés Corporativo as well. When I finish, I have to upload the video to YouTube and I have to complete the attendance. Then when I finish that, I start working in the platform. On the platform, I start working in different stuff like that. At 8 p.m., I started my last class, I started my last class and I finished at 10, 20, 10, 15. And then I try to upload the video right away. in I don't know, <laughs> in the middle of the night, right? So I'm working till late. So that's an example. Like you say the times and you say the activities, right? Like just like that quick. Okay, uh, did you understand the activity or do you have any questions about it? I'm guessing that you understand yeah. the activity. Everything is here. Yes, Silencio otorga, dicen, right? Okay, very good. Yo tengo alumnos, su grupo no es así, lo voy a decir en español rápido. Tengo alumnos que a veces no hablan para nada en clases. Y cuando hablan es como dos palabras y ya, se acabó. 
y les digo, y ustedes nacieron con contador de palabras, o sea, si se las sacaban ya en un día, ya no, ya no se puede, ya es, es, hoy hablé todo lo que podía hablar, dije, right, <laughs> that's what, like, what they, they, they do that, like, okay, let's go, I think this group is okay, yeah, it's okay, excellent, let's go, guys, remember the two uh, uh, activities you have, what is this? Do you understand me? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna ask you, Rolando. Well, I'm gonna ask you, what is a regular day at your workplace like? Well, uh, normally uh, from 8 a.m. to 8 30, I check the night reporter. Because in my company, uh, the the product that we make is at night. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, in the morning, I always check the night reporter. You the... work on at a on a newspaper, right, Rolando? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, in the newspaper, make at night always in my yeah. company. Yeah, yeah. They are make at. Yeah, they yeah. might pay right night. What can can we ask what newspaper you work for? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and <laughs> so, so. so you work at night. Eh, eh, antes. Oh, okay. Sure. So right now back in the days, so right now you're working in the mornings. About uh Four years ago, I made so, turns. So you were make you were working at night, but now you work in the day. 
Yeah, right now, yes, my uh -huh. my my turn is a day. Okay, okay, yeah. very good. Yeah. Continue, I'm sorry that I interrupted you. Yeah, and then uh, if we don't have any problem, I'm... Nice. So? It's interesting. Yes. <laughs> Who is well, next? Well, uh, in my case, uh, I don't have a specific schedule for my work. Because obviously I have a rot I don't know, rotative schedules. So uh, as you know, I work in a call center and I have to be a multitasking person because I am checking reports, uh, answer all the questions for the agents about uh, how to handle the calls and resolve uh, or give the solution to a specific scenarios. And I monitoring calls. Um, um, in in my job, is is difficult uh, sometimes because um, my connection, uh, the internet, my connection in my jobs is in in unstable. Sometimes. Unstable. Unstable, yes, yes. Unstable. Unstable, sorry. Yes, correct. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Now okay. you can ask to another person. Good. Thank you, sir. Uh, well, my job. Uh, I want... But ask her the question. You only say root, and you don't ask. You don't ask the question. <laughs> okay. What is a regular day at your workplace like? Uh, well, in my job. And she too. But uh, each year only two or three. Uh -huh. Only some, uh, in one semester only two or three. She too. But I give many. Hello, Anna. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I'm belay. I was problem with my computer. My daughter was working. She she was she was doing a homework to school. So I can I can use uh, the computer at the same time. Oh, okay, that's fine. So your classmates right now, they are talking about uh, the schedules they have in their workplace. For example, I, I don't know, check emails from 7 to 8 a.m. I work in reports from 8 to 10 p.m. I mean to 10 a.m. So okay. they are doing that, talking about the activities and the schedules where they when they do it. So I'm going to send you to okay. a breakout room and you have your chance to practice, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Yes.
Hello. Hello. So. Hello. Hello. I went to the break of rooms and you were talking. That's okay. The only thing that you forgot was to ask the question. You were you were like, it's your turn now. It's your turn. It's your turn now. You have to be asking the question. So what's your schedule? Well, I, uh, 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 uh. What is a regular day at your workplace like? And the second question, I don't know if you asked the second question, the what is, how busy are you, right? Because some days we're really busy and there are some other days that we're like, there's not a lot of work. And it's like that in every single place. I don't know if you have ever gone to the bank Usually Monday mornings, they are full of people. The Monday mornings, I don't know why. But then, for example, if you go a Thursday or a Wednesday in the afternoon, like nobody wants to go to the bank on a Wednesday or a Thursday. It's alone. The empty. What is it, Jessica? It's alone. <laughs> yeah, like it's empty. The people doesn't like they don't want to go there. But if you go on a Monday or on a Tuesday in the morning or Saturday or Saturday, they are full of people. But, but depends of the van because I always go to Banco Agricola and it always is full. All day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every day, even on Saturday afternoon. But some Bancos Agricolas, because I have gone to some Bancos Agricolas and I go like this. Actually, there was one day that I went to the bank. Tell us where Agricola. <laughs> well, but it, that was here in Osulutan. But it's also it's always full in Osulutan. Always, always, it's super full. The lines are even out of the bank. I, like it's because it's the only bank in the whole town. Like in the whole city, yeah. it's just one bank. So it was really it's always really full. But that day I went to the bank and I take my number and just taking my number and they were calling me to go with the with the like with the person and I was like yeah that's super quick never happens to me and to in San Salvador I have gone to some bancos agricolas and it Ew. depends it depends to the bank you go because some banks are empty and they they don't have people there like I don't remember what was this bank I went to Nescalón yeah I don't know if I went to the Escalón one but it was like a Salvador del Mundo yeah it, I think it was Salvador del Mundo but you don't, okay. don't go on payday. No, 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 never, <laughs> never. And that is not like everything is full on payday. Everything, yes. everything. Like the streets are, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> because I think even though they pay you that day, you can go to the bank another day, right? Oh, yes. You yes. don't have to go the same day. So for That's example, how... when people pay me, when, when the companies pay me, I don't go to the bank, even though I have my credit, my debit card, and I have the app, and the money is there. So it's it, yeah. it's there. So why do I have to go? Like, I don't know. People get crazy when they have money, right? They, they get crazy yeah. when they have money. <laughs> that, and pay with with the uh, with the with the app with the app. Yeah, I buy things with the app. So for example, yeah. I pay the the for example All I pay service. the bills. All the yeah. services in the app. Yes. So I don't have yes. to go like to the lines and yeah. Now <laughs> we're living in the future, guys. Let's let's use the future. Okay. Um, ya no tenemos que, que, que cambiar, ¿verdad? Luz por cacahuate. So luz por, por <laughs> tengo unas mantas que hice, le voy a cambiar la luz. Right. So we don't mm, ni me recuerdan de los espejitos por mirrors. Ah, vendimos oro por espejitos. Okay, yeah. Okay, guys, so <laughs> the activity we're gonna do right now is the conversation. So when you were speaking about your schedule at your workplace, you were using a structure in English that is called present simple. That is one of the first things you learn in English. Do you remember the present simple? Super easy. I yeah. work, you yes. work, she works, we live, we like it's super easy. It, the, it only changes with the third person. You add an S at the end of the verb, and sometimes you add e I E S E S. But in these times, we're using the present simple to talk about schedule activities. So activities that have a time. They are always at that time. Like la novela, right? We have la novela at seven, teacher. Before the class, we have the novela, and I watch the novela. 
right? Eso era antes. Now it's Netflix. Netflix. Right, now it's Netflix, you guys. And you can watch it at any time you want. But if you have times for schedules, we use the present simple. And here is why. We use the present simple for schedule activities because they are routines, right? And we use the present simple with routines. We also use the present simple with things that are true or facts and something that is real. For example, in my case, I live in Usulutan. That is something that is real, right? Something that is real. Also, I'm a teacher. That is present simple and that's something that is true. I'm a teacher. Oh, I work as a teacher. Then I, I use the present simple for schedule activities. I teach English from 8 p.m. to 10, 20 p.m., right? That's a schedule activity because it's an activity that it repeats every day, every month, every week, right? So that's when we use it. And that's what we're doing right now, talking about our activities using the present symbols. I'm telling you this because I went to a breakup room. Maybe the people in the breakup room didn't realize when this person said, I work in, I work in, and, and they say like, I work in 7 a.m. at 7 a.m. So working, no, don't use working. In this case, we're only using work as the simple present, right? The base form of the verb, unless you're talking about the third person that you know to as S or IES. So now we have a conversation. Let me share the conversation with you guys. Teacher, we yeah. want to ask you something. Uh, excuse me. Uh, for example, when we are, uh, we want to know about what is the word you use to explain if you are a teacher, for example, and you um, teach different, um, I cannot say subjects or yes, to say like science, uh, social science, like math, like this. Assignments, the, you can talk about as, subject. Or, no, assignments are more like homeworks. Subject. Uh -huh. Subject. And lectures? Correct. Lectures is for the university. Uh -huh. For the university classes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Then should be lectures. That is lecture. But, but it depends because the lecture itself is the explanation. For example, I teach English and my class and my subject is English, right? But mm -hmm. the lecture for today is about the present simple. Mm -hmm. So mm. the lecture is like the specific topic that I'm gonna teach okay. in that subject. Okay, so the, the word will be subjects. Yeah. And lecture is like the explanation, the topic you are going like to discuss. Like the topic. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank so you. So for Anna. example, I am like, oh, I have a lecture today with my students is about the present simple. Oh, what do you teach? Oh, I teach English. That is the subject, right? That is the okay. main difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna okay. share my screen with you. So we go to the conversation. Okay. Remember, I'm gonna read it twice. The first time is for pronunciation and the second time is for intonation. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Mm, I don't like this, guys. I don't like it. So we're just gonna use from Monday to Wednesday, okay? From Monday to Wednesday. So Jessica is, she cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job, job, no job, 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 job. Not like job, it's not like an A, not like a no, it's in between. Indeed, indeed. Guys, this is one of my favorite words in English. I don't know why, I like that word a lot. It's indeed, for example, you're saying like, oh, it's really hot today. 
Indeed, it is. It's like you're talking about sophisticated. I don't know. I, it sounds sophisticated to me. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Shift. <clears throat> no, she doesn't. George, or you can say Jorge. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does? Who does after him? Does his brother take the the right the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, now I'm gonna read it with intonation. And remember guys, this is super, super, super important. Intonation, it's also about joining the words. So for example, cleaning it, no, cleaning it, cleaning it, cleaning it, cleaning it. You see, cleaning it, you join them together. Clean it, clean it, cleaning it. Okay, let's go. And about the feeling too, right? Don't read it like you're, I don't know, aprendiendo a leer, like, yeah. <laughs> Just read it with the intonation. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But... Doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does, he, does his brother take orders after him? Yes, he does. You see, it's about the feeling. Not like this kitchen looks great. Like, se nota, verdad? Que si se ve bonita la kitchen. This kitchen looks looks great, right? Usted ven a su amigo le dicen, te ves bien hoy, right? No, like that, no. Hey, qué bien te ves hoy, qué bien te quedó el corte de pelo, verdad? Qué bien te quedó el corte de pelo. Right, like that doesn't show the feeling. So you have to do it with the feeling. Let's do it one more time. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Yes, it is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job, indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Oh, I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Do you need clarification with a pronunciation here or is all clear? All clear, clear but I, I have a doubt that when you remove the S of Monday and Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay, because usually the days are not plural. For example, if I say I work on Mondays, if I only say I work on Monday, it's okay. So, because we, it's like a routine. Every Monday, I'm gonna work. So instead of saying I work on Mondays, you can say I work every Monday. It is not really usual to say the, the plurals of the days in English. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Okay. Yes, it's, not, it's, 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 not, it's, not it's not common to say the plurals. Okay, uh, any other question? No? Pronunciation is correct? Teacher. I have, a, I have a question. Okay, and then we go with Anna. Okay, continue. Okay, if I want to explain something uh, that I do every uh, Monday, for example, how can I say every, every Monday? Monday? Or every Monday. Every Monday. Have every Monday. 
Yeah. Okay. Singular. All every Monday. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you very much, Merlin, for your question. For example, if you want to say something that you say that you do every every week, you say every week. If you say something that you do one week, yes, and one week, no, every other week. If you want to say something that you do one day, yes, one day, no, you say every other day, every other day. And if you want to say something that you do casi cada 14 días, you say it once in a fortnight, once in a fortnight. That's how you say it. Fortnite. So, yeah, como el juego, ¿verdad? Fortnite. I'm sorry, Anna. What was your question? Yes. Could you mind explaining what's the difference between indeed and of course? Are there are any difference? Indeed is more formal, sophisticated. Of course, it's just like simple. But it's almost the same. Indeed, and of course, it's the same. Okay, thank you. And you can say them together. Indeed, of course. Like, yeah, sí, por supuesto, claro, right? That's correct. Okay. But indeed, I like it. Of course, it's like, yeah, of course, yeah. But indeed, is like, indeed. Hasta me veo con la te el tecito y con el monóculo aquí, ¿verdad? <laughs> I don't know. It, it sounds sophisticated to me. Okay, did okay. you take the thank screenshot? You. Well, you have the conversation there in the in the in the in the manual on the platform. Okay, so we're gonna go to the breakup rooms. Remember, guys, please, please, I beg you, do it with the feeling, with the intonation. Don't be like just, yeah, like I don't know how to say it. Like you're so bored. Like how was it? Like no, like you're just reading. That is not the case. Okay, guys. So um. I have some messages here about the people. Estefania, are you home already? Or you're driving still? Okay. Yes, again. Oh, you're home? No, right now, no. But can you participate with the, the activity or not? I can try, but I'm okay. not sure. Okay, okay, thank you for telling me. Anna Elizabeth, you home? Yes. Okay, so just- Right now I am, right. Okay, it's just Estefania then in this case. Okay, I'm gonna create the breaker rooms again. Okay. Stefania. Right there. There's going to be a group with three people, so take turns saying the conversation, practicing the conversation, and the group where Stefania is, remember she's busy right now, so just for you to take that into consideration. Jennifer, are you in a breakup room? Did you get the invitation? Hello, Jennifer.
father take the others after him? Yes, he does. Okay, repeat again. Okay, I will. Okay, okay, okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, it, but doesn't Jessica take orders uh, during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? It's a, uh, not she doesn't hurt her, does it, he takes, it's missing. Uh, uh, can you see the, the screenshot that Diana showed us? Yeah, but you are missing a line. Um, no, no she I think that line is from Orson, is, is Orson line. Oh. No, yeah, she doesn't. Yeah, line. Yeah, or so oh. she doesn't. George does. Yeah. Ah, no, she doesn't. Her he does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Thank you. Now, if one would you like to practice with want... Diana? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This kitchen going to looks be great. Oh. No, she Orson. does. Uh, okay, it's Orson that responds. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. No, will, okay. will indeed it, but doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? Okay. No, she doesn't. Jorge does he take. And then uh, continue Orson. Okay. Yes. yes, yes. Again, will. again, and now you will. Okay. This chicken looks great. It does. Who is cleaning? Jessica is. She cleans the chicken from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, it, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does he take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m.? I get it. And who does after him? Okay, <gasps> okay. this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. Okay. Okay, okay, uh, okay. Well, I don't know what can I do it now. Mm, uh, well, one, talk, one talk about us. Mm -hmm. What do you do, uh, Anna? So right now or in my work? Uh, normally. Normally. Did you finish well, practicing the conversation? Yes. I want to hear you. Okay. Again. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Oh I my will, gosh, you, will be, I, you will. Going, yeah, I'm, will. I'm going to share the, the picture again. Okay, can you see that? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be Will. Okay. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is chair of cleaning it? In charge. In charge. 
In charge. In charge. Mm -hmm. Cleaning it. Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Thank you okay. very much, guys. That was really good. Okay. <laughs> so you are working right now at home. Mm -hmm. At this moment, I am working at home. I have one year and three months that I have been working at home. I, I haven't come back to work on site. Now I don't I don't know what <laughs> yeah, I, I tell you. Okay. When? This kitchen looks great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is she cleans. Hello guys, welcome back again. Wait a minute. I'm allergic to life. Are you allergic guys? Do you have allergies? No? To powder. Oh. To dust. To dust. I'm allergic. To life. <laughs> I'm allergic to I'm life. Allergic to work. What kind to of work? life? Life. To my life. Oh, life. Oh. <laughs> to being alive. <laughs> and, that's, and people say always say, like, teacher, but no, you should be allergic to cats or other stuff. And I'm like, no. So, because when I die and they put me in a, like, how do we say, past casket? Ah, I forgot how to say it. So, but they place me there and I go on my funeral and I go under the, the <laughs> right, like all the dust and that. Vean si estornudo abajo de la tierra ese día. No, I will be perfect. Van a tirar tierra, piedras, van a ver animales. And I'm be fine. So I'm allergic <laughs> to life, right? <laughs> so that's what I always say. No, I'm allergic to life. <laughs> Ok, very good, guys. Hago bromas de la muerte porque, o sea, es algo natural, digo yo, y hay que acostumbrarse. Pero no, I'm scared of that. No, yo sé, sí me da miedo. But, ok, let's talk about... La mía no me da miedo, guys. Seamos honestos. La de uno a uno no le da miedo. Le da miedo la de la familia, right? O la de los que uno quiere. Porque uno cuando se muera, ya que, right? But when the people we love die... But, but the time, but the time passed quick... What is it? The, yeah, the time goes quickly, like really quick. I return to Aiden again. Yeah, a few, a few, a few weeks or a few months ago, a person that I knew died. She was studying English like I did, and she graduated one year after I did. So she died in a car accident, and that really made me think, like, right, like, you always think that all people is like they are gonna die, but you realize that it's more possible nowadays that you die instead of the old people. My grandma is always like, no, oh, pero yo ya me voy a morir y ustedes van a caer. Yo, abuela, más probable que nosotros nos muramos primero que usted que está aquí en la casa todos los días guardadita. And we go there, accidents, violence. 
ya no voy a pensar en eso. Let's go. I'm gonna go with the attendance. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the attendance, guys. Remember, cameras on, full names. So please, if you have your camera off, only with a good reason. Otherwise, I need to keep your camera on. Okay, let's go. Ana Beatriz Valencia I'm Ruiz. I'm here. She was quick, right? Yeah. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Arlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. I'm here. I'm here. ¿Ya vino Estefanía? Oh, hi, Estefanía. Por cierto, Estefanía, hoy me hi. toca quedarme con usted en, la, eh, en el refuerzo. Ah, ok. Después de clase, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Okay. ok, muy bien. Good. Flor Dalma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Ok, Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. No vino Harvin hoy. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Excelente. Juan José Ábalos Campos. I'm here. Eh, Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. Kerry, Tiffany, Rosales Figueroa. I'm here. Ok, se le rompió. Se le rompió. Que se le rompió. Vamos a poner mute para que ya no. Ok. Merlin, Lisbeth, Ventura Cruz. I'm here. Zuleima, Lisette, Méndez Romero. I'm here. William Antonio Morales Mancía. I'm here. Ok. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Silvia María Rivera Rivas. Okay, so she's not here. Good. Guys, that's uh, what I always tell you, right? If you are saying like, I'm here, you need to have your microphone on. But if you're not, <laughs> try to have it off because sometimes you don't know, like el día que ustedes van a salir en un meme, like the person who was like, ella dijo su asistencia y después dijo, ay no, qué oso, right? Have you seen that video? Have you watched that video? And she's like, and, and the teacher is like, ya hija, ya hizo el oso, ya la vimos, no se preocupe, right? So you don't want to be a meme, you don't want to be a meme. So yeah, to have your microphones off. <laughs> Very good, guys. I have a few comments on the conversation. I went to the breakup room and I heard like some mistakes there. So for example, the first mistake, many, many of you said the orders, the orders. And what is the mistake there? The pronunciation? The stress, the orders. The orders. The orders, the orders. That is correct. Because it's a vowel sound, right? So we need the. No, the, the, that was the first mistake. And the other mistake, I don't know. <laughs> maybe you weren't paying attention to me or maybe I didn't say it right. I said a lot of time, indeed. I said it like, oh my God, so many times, indeed. So I went to the breakout rooms and you were saying, in de, in de, in de, de in de, de. Like that, you were saying something completely different to what I said, indeed. I was like, indeed. And you were saying like different stuff, indeed. Yeah. So that's something that happened in the breakout room. So indeed and the orders. But I think that was the only, the, those two were the only mistakes. Guys, I want to know, do you know the pronunciation of these and these? So for example, let's talk about this. So these... This is my pen. Mm -hmm. These are my pens. Do you know the different pronunciations between those? Yes. yes. Yeah. What is the different pronunciation? It's a little bit longer, these. For uh -huh. Okay, Lo only longer? The writing change also. We write different. Yeah, they, they are written different. That, that, that's completely correct. But the pronunciation, I'm you have gonna... to have it on your hand or close to you. 
yeah, yeah, they have to be close to me. But the pronunciation, so this, super easy, right? This is short and just this. But when you have two, these, these, and I want you to listen, it's longer, but it's almost like you were saying a Z, Z. Listen to that. It's like you were saying Z. This. These. 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 No. This. This. It's, it's. This. No se va a escuchar así como these, right? But it sounds like these. And a little vibration there. Listen. This. 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 Can you hear the vibration? This. Yes. Okay, so be careful with that because I was uh, going through some breakout rooms and you were talking about different stuff there and you were saying these for, I mean, these for plurals and this, these, like you were saying uh, Z with that vibration, a little bit of a, a vibration there. Okay, very good guys. Uh, let's go here. We have some questions to answer. Here we have the questions. Can you read question number one, please, William? Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday? You can say, um, gracias. Um, you can say Mondays to Wednesdays, but yo prefiero decir from Monday to Wednesday, porque como es algo rutinario, but you can say it. No vayan a decir, no, que la teacher dijo que era correcto, incorrecto poner el plural. Imagine the cabeza. So who cleans? Thank you, thank you very much, William. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Um, can you answer that, please, Anna Elizabeth? Sure. Uh, Jessica cleans the kitchen Mondays to Wednesdays. Okay. Suleima, can you ask the second one? Okay. What does Jorge do? What does Jorge do? Um, Miguel, can you answer that question? He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Excellent, good job. Flor, can you ask the third question? When does Jorge's brother take orders? Okay. Merlin, can you answer that question? Okay. Um, when does Jorge's brother take orders? So look, yes. Jorge takes the orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., right? So, yes. And when does the brother? Um, Look at this. Maybe she, um, maybe clean, clean. She, no, 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 no. No, when, in what moment? What moment does Jorge's brother after, take the uh, order? Okay. After him. Yeah, after him. So you can say after him or look at the time. So he takes the orders from 2 p.m. And in the afternoon. So you can say okay. Jorge's brothers take the orders in the afternoon, right? Okay. Teacher, and um, also I can say uh, when Jorge finishes. Yeah, she that is correct. Finishes is, is the present simple. Yeah, finishes. Finishes is the present simple. Finishes. Okay. So when okay. Jorge finishes. Yeah, that was a good one. Excellent. Okay. So how to use, this is what we're doing, I told you already. How to use simple present for schedule activities. Use the simple present for schedule activities because these are activities that you repeat. You didn't hear your name, Miguel Angel? Excuse me, teacher. No escucho su nombre? No, no. I don't okay. hear. Okay, that's queer. Okay, but but you're present. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have four examples. Can you help me read the first example, please, Jessica? 
Okay, teacher. Math service at 2 p.m. Thank you very much. Can you help me now, Ana Beatriz? Andrea cleans the tables from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thank you. Rolando, can you help me with this one? Uh, you're muted. Microphone off. Now? Yeah. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Thank you very much. Let's go with Estefania. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Estefania, the, 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 the exercise here, the sentence. Oh, okay. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1 30? 30 p.m. 30 p.m. Excellent. Good job. So, guys, again, the present simple, we use it to talk about things that are true, things that are real, facts, or activities that we do regularly. So, routines, for example. And in this case, we're using it for schedule activities. And with the schedule activities, we need the times. Okay? So, we need the time, like in this case. Mat serves. Why is mat serves? Like this serves and it's written like service. Why? Because third it's person. a third person. Exactly. With the third person, we need the S. So let's go here with the next activity. So can you help me read the instructions, please, Diana? Yes, use the verbs form the box to write sentences about you and people in, in your workspace. Excellent. In your workplace, right? Ah, workplace, sorry. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. So, use the verbs from the box to, yeah. So, for example, work. You're going to use these verbs and you're going to make sentences about you, about you. And you are going to put the times. So, you need to write down the times. So, let's do it like this. Let's do it. Work. I work. So, about a time, yeah. I work from. Monday, remember the days have always the first letter capital, always capital letter in the first letter of a day. I work from Monday to Friday, let's say, right? I work from Monday to Friday. The other one, open. I open my computer <laughs> at 8 a.m. I don't know. Or I open my email, for example. But no, I open my email. No, I log in my email. No, I like this one better. I open my computer. I read my email. Yeah, I read it. Okay, yes. I arrive, but we're using the verbs we have there, right? I, I arrive to my house at 5 p.m. This is just an example. I close the office at 4.30 p.m. This is just an example again. I go to Santa Ana every Friday. So let's say, tienen una sucursal en Santa Ana and you go there every Friday, right? So these are examples, examples that I used. But I want you to do the same. So you're going to do the same activity, but, but with your own, own examples, okay? So I'm going to give you like five minutes to do the activity. Remember, you have to add the time. And, and you send it here to my chat, okay? Send it to the chat. Private. So send it to Inglés Corporativo, not to everybody, okay? Así cuando yo corrija, le corrijo sin que diga su nombre, ¿verdad? Ay, es que fulanito se equivocó en esto. No. Send it to Inglés Corporativo. 
teacher. Mm -hmm. I have never, I have never sent activity in English corpora, corporativo. You always send it to everybody? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this time is going to be your first time. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, how can I say? How can I send? Sorry. Okay. So you go to the chat. Okay. Go to the chat. Are you in the chat? But on the WhatsApp? No, 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 no. Here in Zoom. On Zoom. So you, you go, to, go to the chat? The full chat? Mm, yeah. Guys, yeah, mándenlos sure. todos juntos. Todo junto. El ejercicio todo junto hasta que lo termine. Porque si me lo van mandando uno por uno. No. No, no, no. Ya vi que me lo están mandando todos uno por uno. No. Porque cuando le dan enter, yo veo el ejercicio suyo y el de su compañero que lo mandó al mismo tiempo. No. Manden. Cuando ya tengan todas las oraciones, mándenlas todas juntas. Please. Okay. How many examples are? Estos, mire. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Same. Okay. Same. But so you go to there and you go to enviar a and you choose inglés corporativo. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Florida Alma sent me her examples together. So if you're from your computer, guys, si están desde su computadora, pueden dar shift y enter para poder dar espacio sin enviarlo. Shift y enter. Y si no, solo pongan una pleca. It, like, lo dividen todo. Sorry, teacher. At the, in the first sentence, I repeat from from. <laughs> I work from from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. That's okay. Okay, let's go here. We have floors first thing, and then we have Diana's. We have, yeah. From Monday to Saturday. To read all the emails I received, emails, because mail is, for example, what you can receive physically. So, un correo, but you go to correo, so you go like, the, yeah, that's mail. Email is electronic. Okay, teacher, thank you. Excellent. That is really the name of your company, Brenda? No, just to make the sentence. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Teacher. Y ese mensaje que me acaban de mandar es que tu perrito leía. What? ¿Quién dijo teacher? Um, me. Okay, Merlin. Merlin tell me. How can I say cada 15 minutos? Every 15 minutes.
Guys, always the capital letter I is always capital. You work at Banco Promerica, guys. <laughs> Aquí en Usulután Banco Promerica es el que pasa más lleno siempre. More than agrícola. I don't know why. We work from Monday to Sunday, maybe. But they are full all the time. Siempre están llenos. Like, oh my God. Yeah. Tenían una sucursal chiquita donde no iba nadie. Y ahora ya la descubrieron. Yo a esa iba. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Imagine when the pandemia start. It pandemic. was very difficult. Pandemic start. It was difficult because all the people eh, eh, visiting eh, the agencies because the people uh, maybe didn't have to use the, the app. Uh -huh. Guys, you know, I don't know why, pero como la, la pandemia no volvió loco. Ah, oh, Flor, look at that baby. Can we see him or her? I don't know if it is a him or a her. My God, look at that, you guys. That's it's so, so cute. Is a she or a he? It's she. She? My yes, my dog gay gay beard. Bird? Bird for babies. What? And what what is the how do we say this? Breed. What is the breed? Com la raza? Yeah. Maltes. So are they big or, or small? No, small. Do you want to see the other? Yeah, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Para mientras terminen, guys. Por eso lo estoy haciendo, para que terminen los demás. <laughs> It's so cute. Oh, look at that, you guys. Oh my God. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Como que dijo, lo voy a matar de ternura aún más. <laughs> oh my God, so beautiful. I like. Um, animals animals but i prefer what well, i don't know oh my god look at that one i didn't they think. have a one month they are no, one they month old no they are oh, sorry <laughs> the mom the mom no. is angry yes the, um, they are like 16 or 17 days but <gasps> but are so big i am so so chubby they're chubby they, i can see that yes. they're chubby Oh, And my. how many dogs do you have? Um, I have two dogs, two adult dogs, and the babies. But the babies, I, I don't, I don't know how to say. No me lo voy a quedar. So you won't keep them? I won't keep them. I wish. So I, I, I don't know if you can see the four. Oh my God! How cute! And this is the mom. Oh, that's how they are. Son como like colochitos. Yes, uh, two are white with beige, mm -hmm. and the other two are black and white. Black and white. Yes, but all are with manchitas because okay, with my fat. dog and the and the fathers of the babies is con manchitas. So, but the father is the same breed. Yes. Oh, mm. so are you going to sell the dogs or are you going to mm, give them? No, no, no. I'm going to give to one, two, one for my sister, one for my brother, one for a friend. And the other, I think, is one for my, my husband friend. Uh -huh. But right. they already had good, good homes. <laughs> right, I'm sure about familiar, that. Guys. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I have only one here, and it's a Rottweiler. Have you ever seen the Rottweilers? Yes, they are so cute. I have the Pit. adults is a pitbull, and the Maltese. 
the, yeah. the mom of the baby. Mm -hmm. I love the I love the Rottweilers and the people's kind of stuff. Like they are, they, you can see them and people get scared. Like, oh my God, he's no. like a big. Dog. But they are so sweet. No, so sweet. They just they want are love, right? Like like big babies. Yeah, they are like big babies. Mine is my yes. big baby. Okay, that was really good. Thank you for mm -hmm. no vino la clase, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now with the activity you did, we're gonna do another activity. So please make sure to have your answers with you, because you're gonna share your answers with your classmates. Now, you're gonna say your answers and you're gonna mention I don't know the activities you do. But please, please, please make sure you write down the answer of your classmates. So for example, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Jessica, tell me one, one of your sentences. About what, teacher? What, the activity we just did. Ah, uh, I, I drive uh, from, from drive or arrive no drive oh, oh. i drive my car mm -hmm. I, I drive my car and from 6 30 to seven forty-five. okay so uh, with that, guys, I wrote what she said. Remember, we are using the verbs that were in the book, right, in the manual. So she said her sentence, but I'm a second person. I'm a listener. So, you know, we have to say como I drive my car from 6.30 to 7.45, right? So I'm going to say what? She drives. She drives. She. So when I write it, I'm going to write it in the person, third person. I'm going to write it in the third person. So it will be, she drives her car from 6.30 to 7.45. She drives her, her car. So the activity we're going to do right now is you're going to listen to your classmates and you're going to write what they say, okay? If you want to write the name, that's okay. So for example, in this case, I will say, Jessica drives her car from 6.30 to 7.45. Yes? The, is it clear the activity we're going to do? Yes, it yes, is. Teacher. Okay. Okay, okay. Pregunto porque ya nos han pasado una, ¿verdad? Okay, let me do this, guys. Three or four people. Let's go. Jennifer, are you there?
I open my tools at 8 a.m. You open? Can you repeat it, please? Mm -hmm. Sure. I open my tools. My? Tools. Tools. T-O-L-S. Mm -hmm. Yes. At 8 a.m. Okay, the order is I arrive to my uh, work at 7 a.m. No, it's 8, sorry, 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. Can you repeat, please? Sure. I arrive to my work at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m because I have different schedules. At 8, 8 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> Santa uh -huh. I arrive at home to 7 p.m. Okay. In my case, I have, I arrive to my office at 8 a.m. Eight AM. Yes. Okay. I close session at five thirty PM. Five thirty, right? Uh -huh. Thirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Five thirty. I don't understand. You didn't get it. Okay. I close session like in the computer session at 5.30 p.m. At 5.30. Uh, so mm -hmm. if you want, I can. Application. Uh, no, tools. My herramientas. Okay. Tools. O -O -L -S. Yes. In my computer at. 8 a.m. Okay. Next okay. one. I arrive to my home at 8.40 p.m. every day. She arrived. She arrived her home. To her home. To her home. At 8.40 p.m. At 8.40 p.m. Okay. Next one. For, is I close my <sighs> eyes every time I'm going to sleep. Sorry, I didn't have <laughs> ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but it's valid. <laughs> I close my eyes every time I'm going to i going to sleep. <laughs> okay. 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 Mm -hmm. I close all the fields or tools at 3 30 p.m. I 3, close 10. all the fields uh, or files. It will be files. Right, files yes. At 3 30 p.m. Okay. And the last one is I go to the main building of my company every Monday. To the building company. You every make, Monday. You... Every Monday. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that, please? Yes, yes. <laughs> I go to the main building. On his computer. Computer? In my case, I turn on my computer at uh -huh. 8 Your computer? E -M. At 8 a.m. Yes. A okay. Uh, the next a is uh, I arrive to my daughter's house at 5 p.m. Read. You read. Arrive. 
Okay. To my daughter's house at 5 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry. Is you right? All right. To how? No. Ah, okay. All right. All right. Like okay. That. All right. To his. To my daughter's house at 5 p.m. Her, his daughter. Right? Daughter's house. House. Yes. Uh huh. Um, what time? From Monday to Friday, I think. Mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. Um, what time you open your tools? Me? She, yeah, yes. she opens, <laughs> she opens her tools at a.m. Yes, excellent. Oh. A.m. A.M. What, what time you arrive? is black uh, and it her name is Luna too. Oh did you Thank finish you. <laughs> the activity? Yes. Yes. We are using yes. extra time to talk in English about and <laughs> uh -huh. okay. yes. I was like oh my god they're playing with the dogs. <laughs> no we took all the notes and we also comment about our our teens Okay. About okay. the nuts. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay guys, so the activity we're gonna do right now is based on the activity that you just did. So you wrote down the answer, answers of your classmates 
with the names of, or with the third person, right? That's what you did. So right now we're gonna go to a different breakout room and you're gonna mention the activities of your classmates. That's why you have to grow them down because now you're gonna practice saying that the present simple, but for the third person. So for example, I was working with Juan Jose and Miguel Angel, and now I go to work with Brenda and Flor. So I'm gonna be like, Juan Jose works from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Miguel Angel works from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, so I'm gonna say what they do. Is it clear the activity? Yes. 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 Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Very good. So I'm gonna create the breakout rooms again. Okay, let's go. Si sí quedaron con otras personas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. In my case, um, with Juan Jose. Juan okay. Jose works from Monday to Friday, signs 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And okay. Stefania arrives to her home at 9 p.m. Uh, the other person, uh, we can we we haven't time to 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 say to finish. Yes, 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 yes. So um, like Stefania too. Uh, Stefania makes her dinner at three p.m. Because she Ruth arrives at home at 6 p.m. Also, Ruth closes her restaurant at, f at 4 p.m. And Ruth goes to the supermarket every other week. And that's it about my, my last group. What about you, Miguel Angel? Okay. Um, I was with Rolando and Suleima. Uh, Rolando works from Monday to Saturday. Um, he opens uh, his notebook at 8 a.m. Okay. He arrives his ho home at 6.30 p.m. I work with William and Anna Beatriz. So about William, uh, William works from Monday to Saturday. Uh, William opens his computer at 7.30 a.m. Uh, William arrives to his house at 5 p.m. Uh, he closes the office at 4.30 p.m. He goes to the supervisor each hourly, he says. And about Anna Beatriz, uh, she works once or twice a week at her home. Uh, Anna opens the restaurant at 6.30 a.m. Every, every day. Anna arrives at her home at 6 her window. I'm sorry, she opens her computer from at 10, 15 a.m. She arrives at her job or at her work at 10 a.m. She talks with the agents from 10, 20 a.m. to 10, 30 a.m. She takes her lunch from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And she listens every call no, she listen every no, she listen to the class and I don't I don't have time to, to make a, a dinner. Similar to me. Yeah. I finish I finish my class 
to teach at 8 p.m. Uh -huh. Yeah. In that moment, uh, uh, connect to the courses, English, the English courses. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard to me. I, Every I, day. I, yes, it's the same situation for me. I'm, I'm finish my job at seven. Guys, yeah. did you finish wow. the activity? Yes. 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 Did you finish saying the, the activities your classmates do? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. The, okay. The ten, so ten now ten. you're you're speaking? Yes. Yes. About our About us? Uh, daily routine. Oh, uh -huh. daily routines. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Rápido vienen porque ya saben. No, teacher. La hora del postre. Lo que pasa es que es rápido, nos sacaron del, 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 del breaker room. Ok, del uh -huh. breaker room. And some, ok, ok, ok. I'm going to believe that. No me dio okay. tiempo de responder otras cosas. Ah, ok, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. So because some people, I went to some breakout rooms and some people already finished, but it's good guys. When you finish and you try to talk about other things in English, so you practice, that, that's perfect. I like that. As I told you, I don't want to go to a breakout room and see all the cameras off and all the microphones off. That is not correct. Okay, I'm going to go with the last attendance. Let's go. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Ana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Ok, recuerden dos micrófonos apagados porque ya vamos a salir en un meme en ese plan. Ok. Ok. Good meme. <laughs> yeah, 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 vi. Okay. El gecko. <laughs> ¿Cómo les decimos en Usulután? Les dije cómo les decimos en Usulután. Oh, bebe leche. Bebe, bebe leche. leche. Ah. Ya, yeah, bebe leche. Ok. So, I was with... Ya me distraje. Claudia, right. So, Diana Yesenia Reyes Salas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Cres... Céspedes. Sí, Céspedes. I'm here. Excelente. Florida Alba Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Um, Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. She's not here, okay. Su última asistencia. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. I'm here. Um, Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm here. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. 
Suleima Lisette Méndez Romero. I'm here. William Antonio Morales Mancilla. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Okay, guys, so that was it for the class uh, today. I hope you're working on the platform. Remember, if you're working ahead, you're working in the next exercises, that's okay. As look, for example, Brenda, congratulations, Brenda. She has like 100, 100, 100 until like, I don't know, you need three, right, Brenda? I, I did the final exam. <laughs> you did the final exam? Yes. So that's okay. Congratulations. So you see, Brenda, that, that you can do that, guys. It's okay if you do that ahead. And when we go through the topic, we do, you do like a review, but you have that already. Okay, excellent, guys. I will see you tomorrow, and I'm going to stay with Stefania. Okay? So have a good night, everyone. Oh. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Okay, Estefania. Here we are. ¿Cómo está? How okay. are you doing today? Um, I'm I'm very well, but I'm a little tired. Uh, uh yes, tired. You seem tired. Yeah. <laughs> Um, today I start to work at 8 p.m. and I, um, how do you say, salir? I got off. Uh, get up, uh -huh. get up at 8 p.m. So, so you started working at 8 a.m.? Yes. And then you finish and at 8 p.m.? 8 p.m., yes. 12 hours. Yes, and one hour just to lunch. Just to eat uh, very fast and do that. <laughs> oh, and where so, do you work? Um, actually, I work with Suleima and Marlene. Um, we are a supervisor in a call center. Oh, she told me. She told me. Yeah, that's true. Anna uh, told yeah. me. Yeah, Anna told me. Yes, uh, we are a supervisor in a call center, so we have a lot of things to do in all day. And we have to finish them to um, at the end of the day. I don't know if I. So you don't you have understand. a time to get to your work. So it's when you finish. Um. Yes, it is when. What's I your think. What's your normal schedule? For example, usually, what is the time you go to work, and what is the time you go to your house? Okay. Um. Usually, I. I wake up at what else? Uh, five I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm asking, like, yeah. si usted tiene una hora fija de llegar al trabajo y de salir. Um, no directamente, pero sí, es entra a las ocho. Eh, pero tengo que adelantar trabajo para el siguiente día, entonces. Tengo que ¿Legalmente a qué hora debe salir? A las seis. Legalmente a las seis. But you yes, never, same. pero nunca a las seis. Never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because if you don't do it, then the next day you will have more work to do, right? More work. Yes. We have a metric to complete uh, common goals to the agents. So we have to open the goals and then give a follow up to. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is my sister. <laughs> okay, is, is your is your brother or what? No, it's my sister. <laughs> oh, it's your sister. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, 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 Stefania, but um, let's just take advantage of the time we have. So this time you can ask me any questions you have about the classes or maybe another topic that you haven't understand and the understood and you want a reinforcement in that topic? Okay, actually, um, my computer doesn't work, so I don't understand that what can I do or what can I have, a, what I, no, 
um, to this platform because my computer doesn't work. But I don't know if in my on my cell phone I can do that. So you haven't worked on the platform yet? No. Oh, okay. So Estefania, I think there's an app. I think there's an app. Let me look for you have an iPhone or an Android? Android. So let me look. I think there's an app. Let me look. Just intenté ir ahorita a la App Store o a la Play Store y vea, busque eh, inglés corporativo. Veamos si le deja. A ver, en la App Store, ¿verdad? Yes. Inglés corporativo. Okay. Acá lo tengo. Sí, a mí también me parece. Ok, ya se está descargando. Va, ahí coloca su correo y coloca su, su password. ¿Ya le dieron esos datos a usted? Eh, sí, me dijeron que el correo va a ser el que yo puse inicialmente y la contraseña del 1 al 5, si no me equivoco. Ok, esa es la genérica, después la tiene que cambiar por una suya. Ah, ok. Yo creo que ahí le va a dar la opción de cambiarla. Ah, ok. Y desde aquí sí puedo hacer eh, las tareas y ir al día, porque veo que van en la unidad 2, ¿verdad? Ya, vamos por la unidad 2. Okay. Yes. So, intentemos, intentemos. Ahorita hay tiempo para eso, si es para eso que estoy acá. Intente ingresar okay. con el correo que le dieron y la contraseña. Mm, vale. Um, registrarme, ¿verdad? Yes. No, ingresar. No sé si le da la opción oh. ingresar. Um, crear mi cuenta no solamente dice registrarse con Google o crear la cuenta ok, regístrase con Google a ver si la deja a ver si la deja Ok, yo creo que ya ingresé. Acá me dice cursos y descubrir. Ajá, el curso, del en curso ya debería aparecerle el, el principiante 6. Ok, sí, eh, solamente dice inglés avanzado, lo, avanzado, perdón, módulo 1. Y así viceversa. Inglés avanzado, módulo 1, no le aparece el, este que estamos viendo, el principiante 6 no le aparece. Eh, a ver. Mm, no, no me aparece. Puede compartirme pantalla desde su teléfono para ver cuál es el problema. Mm, permítame. Voy a ver si puedo. Solo le va a dar ahí en la opción verde, share, y después creo que le va a dar record, como grabar o compartir, no recuerdo cómo es. ¿A dónde? En un botón verde, ¿no parece hay un botón verde que dice compartir pantalla? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ahí le da. ¿Qué opciones le da ahí? Eh, share whiteboard. No. No. ¿La otra qué le da? Eh, pantalla. Ya. Yeah. Ok, pantalla. No me aparece. No, permítame que me dio aquí para que autorizara en teoría. Sí, tiene que dar autorización. ¿No la deja? No, no me deja. Vaya, le voy a mostrar, bueno, cómo aparece en la computadora. Para que usted vea dónde. Ok. So, mire. Aquí. Eh... Bueno, voy a irme al principal, que es inglés corporativo. 
Hey, mira, aquí me parecen a mí todos estos. Así le tienen que parecer a usted los que ha cursado. Pero el que nos interesa ahorita es este que dice inglés principiante módulo 6. Ok. So, eso le tiene que aparecer en la app. ¿No le aparece eso? Eh, no, me aparece inglés principiante. Ah, oh, bueno, sí, ya está. ¿Sí aparece? Sí, ahora sí. Está unidad 1, job listening. ¿verdad? Ahora le da ahí, ahí le da clic. Okay. Y los que aparecen con un lapicito, ahí va a ver unos donde está el video, el video de la clase. Y hay otros donde está el, el ejercicio. El siguiente el, el que está ahí es el ejercicio. Okay. Intenta entrar uh -huh. ahí. ¿Ya le dejas? Ya, le, ya, ¿Ya ve dónde están los ejercicios? Ahorita. En tarea no sería, ¿verdad? Sí, tareas. Ve, ve ahí. Tarea 1 tiene okay. que ser. Ok. ¿Ya eh, le aparece la tarea? Sí, ahorita me está cargando. Ah, ok, ya. Es completar una oración. Um, Son sorry, como cinco oraciones. I, I can't, uh -huh. Es el can y can't, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, ese es el primero, exactamente. Ok. Entonces, desde ahí ya los completa usted y le da a enviar. Esos ejercicios los puede hacer más de una vez. So don't worry. Ah, okay. Le tiene que ver a mi pantalla a ver si es lo mismo que le aparece. Es este, tarea 1. Este, ¿verdad? Sí, exactamente. Sí. Okay. Okay. Y ahí ya le da submit y si se equivoca puede volver a hacerlo, no hay problema. Ah, ok. Entonces sí puedo trabajarlo desde mi teléfono, ¿verdad? Y no hay ningún problema. Sí, porque el único problema que tenemos es cuando vamos atrás. O sea que no, no, no vamos al día. Por ejemplo, ahorita tendríamos un problema porque no ha terminado la unidad 1. Pero si puede terminarla hoy o mañana temprano, estaría genial para que yo pueda colocarle una nota de esta semana. Ah, ok. Ok, perfecto. No, igual y me iba a quedar haciendo eso. Ok. Eh, y por esa razón también ajá, le quería preguntar, ¿verdad? Para ver una segunda opción. No, ahí está bien con el teléfono, puede hacerlo y yo le voy a esperar y mañana le coloco nota en, 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 la, en el cuadro de notas que yo llevo. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. okay. That Perfecto. will be it, right? So, gracias por quedarse. Thank you. Gracias. Okay. Igual. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Gracias. Bye-bye.